Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in case you haven't noticed, my channel name has officially changed along with my profile picture. This channel is now going to be known as Creatively Erica instead of Paint and Gypsy Design. So in case you missed my last video that I uploaded on Thursday, I basically just quickly discussed that I was going to be updating my channel name, just doing a little rebranding, my content's not changing. I just wanted to change my channel name and my profile picture. And I started a brand new Instagram that is just going to be dedicated for everything related to this YouTube channel. So if you're interested in seeing like sneak peeks and behind the scenes stuff, then definitely go check out my Instagram at creatively.erica. Anyways, I just wanted to quickly mention that. So now back to the crafting video. So in case you haven't been there in a while or in case you haven't heard, the Dollar Tree is no longer the Dollar Tree. It's, it's now like a dollar twenty-five. But there are some Dollar Trees that even have aisles that have stuff that go all the way up to like five dollars. But that aisle is not why I went. I decided to go today because a lot of you guys have recently been telling me that Dollar Tree got in Cricut supplies. So when I heard that, I was so stoked. I had to go see because you cannot beat any type of Cricut supply or tool for $1.25. Like what? So I just bought the two basic tools that everybody needs, a weeding tool and a squeegee. And then I got some vinyl and other material. I'm just gonna be testing out the tools and one of the vinyls today in just a super easy craft to see if I think it was actually worth $1.25 each. So if you're curious to see how I like this Dollar Tree vinyl and their tools, keep watching. So I just got the two basic ones that I feel like every Cricut owner should have and that is just a weeding tool and then a squeegee. I also got some permanent vinyl in black. Now this is 12 by 48 inches, so you get a decent amount for just $1.25. So I already have a design that I am ready to cut out over on my Cricut Design Space. So let's jump on my computer so we can cut out that design. Okay, so here is our vinyl. And the squeegee feels like it's completely hollow, and it is. This comes off, but seems pretty decent. Okay, and now we are ready to load our mat into our Cricut and cut out our design. All right guys, so my cube shelf is pretty narrow and right before I hit cut, I was like, oh wait, I'm using my 24 inch mat. So I knew it was gonna have to go a long ways this way and it was gonna spit out behind the Cricut. So I knew this wasn't gonna be enough space for it to sit on and cut. So I set my other printer on top of my sublimation printer for now, turn my Cricut sideways so the design can slide back and forth back there and then through there but a couple inches of the Cricut hung over the edge and I was like ooh so I had a couple of sheets of thick acrylic so I just stacked these together set my entire Cricut on the acrylic because it goes like all the way to the wall just to make it level so you know nothing was like hanging over the edge there I mean we do what we got to do right now we are ready to hit cut Okay, 
Okay, so I have my Cricut one and the Dollar Tree one. Looking at them, they look the exact same. So it's pretty sad that the Cricut one, you know, you're paying several dollars for compared to, you know, the Dollar Tree's $1.25. Right off the bat, the Dollar Tree one is just a tiny bit lighter, but really I feel like it's the exact same tip, but I feel like it's going to weed the exact same way. So I think this is definitely worth the $1.25 hands down before I've even tried it. But the ultimate test is obviously going to be, you know, how it weeds the vinyl. Now, obviously, the quality of the vinyl is going to have uh, more to do with how easily it weeds out. But let's just see. Yeah, I mean, it feels um, just like regular vinyl, in my opinion. Like, maybe just a little bit thinner. Other than that, feels like normal vinyl. Honestly, as you guys can see, it's weeding out super easily. I barely had to use my weeding tool. Now, right off the bat, I really like the backing on the Dollar Tree's vinyl. It almost feels like a mix between like parchment paper and wax paper. Now I'm just gonna put my normal transfer tape over the vinyl and I'm gonna reveal what I'm gonna be putting this vinyl on. Okay, so my transfer tape is obviously sticking to the vinyl pretty well. I don't know if it's because it's like super thin vinyl, you know, it's like cheap, or if it's like the paint that's on my door. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Um, it's just a little difficult to peel off of this transfer tape. And this isn't a very like super high tech transfer tape or anything. So only complaint so far. <laughs> All right guys, so there is the finished product. Um, as you guys saw, it was a little tricky for me to get my transfer tape off of the vinyl. I mean, it seems like it's sticking okay. Um, I don't think I would recommend using like the Dollar Tree vinyl to go on like, you know, acrylic tumblers or anything like that. Um, things that are gonna be like, you know, really used and worn. But, you know, something like this, I'm not going to be like rubbing against my door or anything. So I feel like this is fine for this type of project. But yeah, I love how this came out. So cute. I love that my door now has my channel name on it because it's like, you know, my studio craft space. So perfect. All right, guys. So like I said, I definitely think Dollar Tree's Cricut tools are for sure worth it. The vinyl, I am still open to buying vinyl from Dollar Tree um, just for the sake of quick, simple crafts like that, or even like just to use as a stencil or something. I think this is gonna be great. So definitely recommend checking this out for yourself. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other crafting tutorials or other small business content. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.